Okay, so hi guys. Sorry for the really bad lighting. Trying to figure things out right now. It's very hard in this room. I'm sorry for the huge, like, you know, pile of clothes right there. Hold on. So yeah, this is kind of uh, my new set pretty much. It's just on my bed because I don't really have anywhere else to film really. Um. So yeah, so for today's video, it's kind of doing something kind of creepy, it's just kind of what I've noticed while being here, um, it is really, it is really creepy being here, <laughs> like, this is a trailer home, there are a lot of sounds apparently and whatever, but, <sighs> yeah, I don't really like it. Oh, and a little heads up, I don't have a shout out for this week because... I have no service, so I don't really know who's been liking on my social media and stuff, so sorry, there's no shout out for this week. Yeah, first of all, there are a lot of sounds in this trailer home already, but a lot, a few sounds are just like not, not sounds a trailer home should make. <laughs> it's more kind of beyond that. So to kind of start out. When we first moved in here, I heard a lot of sounds, and it was really creepy. And so I started talking about them to AJ, and Jameson, the guy that we are living with, he uh, heard us talking about it too, and then mentioned that he has his dad's ashes here. So yeah. <laughs> kind of not good not kind of not good just not good in general I am mm, mm, uh, yeah anyways <laughs> so first of all there is you know ashes here of a person I know just a few nights ago this was not I'm not playing I'm not saying this is paranormal because I actually know the reason for it um the when I go to turn off the light on my fan, I don't pull the string all the way, and so <laughs> it kind of, the light kind of flickered. And when I didn't, I didn't know that, and I thought I pulled it all the way, so I laid down to go to sleep, and of course it was dark, and the light started flickering, and I got so scared. I freaked out. I had the blanket over me. And, but AJ figured it out and everything's okay, but it just kind of added to that ambiance of like, I don't feel, mm, I don't feel good. Also, a few days ago, I'm going to say a few days ago, probably like a week ago or something, I don't know. Um, it was like early in the morning and AJ left, I can't remember, to give Jimmy some ride or something, I don't know. Um... But while he was gone, I heard so many noises that Trailer Home should not make. So I could not fall back to sleep and I just kind of stood there looking around the room in the darkness. Which I should have turned on a light, but I didn't. Oh well, my fault. Um, and there was multiple times where I thought AJ had come home because I thought I heard the door slam. Because like when you... There's like, you know, the regular door and then there's a screen door and this, when you close the screen door, it just like slams shut and you can hear it like throughout the entire trailer home, which in this trailer home, it is very easy to hear noises. <laughs> like you can hear somebody talking from across the house, very thin walls. Um, but yeah, I thought I heard him come home multiple times. And I could not tell the difference between when he actually came home. Like, I, I knew, the only reason I knew he was back was when he actually walked back into this room. Because <laughs> I could not tell the difference. Um, so that was really freaky. Like, I don't really, I haven't actually, like, let anything in my life. Like, I haven't played a Ouija board. I haven't summoned anything. I haven't played, like, ghost games. Like, at midnight. Um... So, 
I don't think that there's anything following me. Like, if you remember from my old video about that woman's voice that said my name, I haven't heard her since that one in the car that I was saying. But pretty much every time that it's dark I'm quiet and I'm alone, I actually try listening for it. Just because I'm like, I know it's going to happen at some point. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, I don't mess with anything. I don't mess with anything paranormal. I just, a lot of times when I'm alone and it's dark, I, my mind wanders. I get scared really easily. I know some of the sounds I am... Like, they're just freaking me out because they're sounds, but I know what, sh what sounds a house should make, and a lot of the sounds that I'm hearing are not. Like, sometimes I can hear people walking down the hallway right here, which is a very long, dark hallway. <sighs> not happy about that. Um, <clears throat> it's like everything here is, like, set up to be scary. But... I mean, there are, there are a few times, especially when I'm alone, that I feel like I'm not safe. But, like, I'm not trying to be sappy or whatever, but when AJ's around, I feel a lot safer. I can't remember when this was. I should have, like, kept dates or something for this, but... I think it was, like, just right after we moved in. I had AJ open the window because it gets very hot in here. Because Jameson has the heat up way high so we have the fan on like 24 7 and we try to keep the vent closed especially at night but yeah i got really warm in here so i told him to open the window and put the fan on so it gets really cool and after a while uh, we heard like a banging mama what was a banging noise kind of like a you know clank you know that noise like against metal, hitting against metal, that kind of noise. I kind of heard that, like somebody was like, or sh something was just outside our window, trying to get in. And so AJ got up and checked outside. There was nothing there, and he closed the window. And then he turned the light on, looked everywhere. He didn't find anything, and he turned the light off, and he just stood there, which really freaked me out. I didn't. I did not like him standing there for like, it was like for like 10 minutes or something. I don't know. He just stood there waiting for like a noise. And I was just laying on the bed like, okay, something is about to come out and murder me. <laughs> like we just watched Jurassic World right before that, right before then. And so, and there's like a really long suspenseful point. Like in those mo in the movies, it was very long and suspenseful. And I'm like, something is going to jump out at me. And so I finally decided to say something and... Then, you know, he got back into bed and everything was alright. We didn't hear any other noises. Also, what's creepy? Is right there, right in the corner. I'll show you. Right there. There's just a wood panel, like... I don't know what's behind there. I told AJ about it. He's like, oh yeah, and I, I don't want to find out. Like, he doesn't want to find out what's behind there, but I do. Like, my mind keeps going wild. Like, what if, you know, I open it up and, like, a skeleton falls out or something? I don't know. So, I guess that's all the stories I have for today. Tell me what you think. Again, no shout-out for this video. But please like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe. Subscribe to Kirby and Shay. Subscribe to Shay. Subscribe to AJ Knight. Which he's not, he's not posting a lot, but still subscribe to him because I know in the future he will be uploading videos. And yeah, remember to follow your dreams and I love you guys. Bye. So just to add a little thing at the end. Um, I just kind of came in here because I thought I heard um, AJ come home. It's okay. And I'm just standing right here, like right there's the hallway. There's my room. Oh, our room. And I'm just standing here, and I swear, I there's someone in my room. Like, I know the fan's on, and it's like making the papers all 
make noises and stuff. But there's no one in here. There's no one in here. Like, I do not like this hallway. Like, every time I'm at the end of it, I swear I hear something at the other end. Also, to add, oh, another thing to add. I think the scariest, like, the place that gives me, like, most unease is our bathroom right here. I, I don't know why. Like, I feel like it'd be, like, the hallway, but honestly... I don't know. I just like, I don't like going in there I'm, when I'm alone. Or like I said, I'm not really scared whenever AJ's here. I'm not scared to go to the bathroom. I'm not scared of the hallway. But yeah, just thought I'd add that because I literally just got done filming and it happened. So I might be freaked out because I just filmed about telling this stuff. But I don't know. I don't like this. Sorry, one more thing to add. Yes, I got really warm, so I might even start her off. I have a bruise right there. No idea how I got it. No idea how I got it. Just woke up one day with it. Like I would have remembered if something hit it or something. Like if AJ hit it in the middle of the night, I would have I would have woken up to that, you know? So that's the last thing I have to add. Sorry. Out.